Well, last video was quite depressing and I look so tired. Well, don't worry guys, I'm not tired, I'm not exhausted. It's just the way I look. Don't worry about my physical health. I have tons of fun making these videos. It's a very fun thing to do even when I look so freaking tiresome and emotional. My eyes are black just because my skin is just that way. So let's take a little bit of break and laugh at something. So here's a short film provided by MTV. It's about six minutes and people have been telling me that it's about hating on gamers. Guys, trust me on this. We're gonna have a very good laugh. You win me? You win me. We're, we're off to a good start, guys. We're off to a good start. Jesus Christ, these kinds of games would make Anita Sarkeesian to have a freaking field day. This GTA clone looks like a really cheap ass smartphone port, but we're gonna continue and see where this is going. Okay, so I said in a video before that there's a huge chance that the world is populated by morons and this guy is quite the epitome. This guy looks at something in a video game and say, hmm, if there's one way for me to emulate this, that's the mindset of a goddamn five-year-old, which, unfortunately, knowing about the behaviors of rich kids off of Moral Bay Area, it's entirely possible that this is what they're thinking. They just love to project it to everybody, and you, MTV, just because people among your peers act that way doesn't mean that others do. Stop projecting. <laughs> what the hell? Did the world suddenly turn into Scott Pilgrim? that mean? Looking at an Indian chick score plus 10. This guy just played a GTA clone and gets stuck in the world of honey pop. Do you even get the right game, MTV? <laughs> 15 man points. This guy is stuck on a dating sim and look, I know this is just fiction, but oh my freaking god, it's one hell of an unrealistic fiction. And I'm gonna ask MTV, is this guy supposed to represent your everyday gamer? Are you saying that it's thanks to video games, people suddenly think that they got stuck on a dating sim? <laughs> Plus 50 creep shot. I, I take it back. This dude isn't stuck in a honey pop universe. This dude is stuck in a gull gun universe. Get more high scores by shooting chicks with your smartphones. Critical hit when it's on the boobs or the butts. Nice picture. It's just a picture of someone's butt. <laughs> Browse some Twitter, man. You'll find better high quality porn in there than what your friend is giving to you. Can I ask you something, MTV? In this absolutely nonsensical fictional universe we created, how much points that you're gonna score for shooting aliens? I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. a freaking brunette and asked her for a number and she just accepted it. Okay, this video should be titled Honey Pop X Gal Gun Live Action Retardation. I really need a freaking cheat sheet. This game called Real Life is so confusing. Get physical. That's just touching our freaking necklace. If you want to get physical, Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Aggressive. <laughs> I haven't had sex in my entire life and even then I know. 
That's fucking tame. Wait, 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 the guy, the guy has his pants on. That score, be a man, should not be granted to you. It's called be a wimp. Just, even is the point. All this entire thing was presented in nothing but mimes of some sort. There's so many missing contacts in this entire thing. Why would this girl willingly fuck with him and then quit later? Why is this guy demanding her to come back into it? What, what is this guy's problem? Wait, you get points for anger? Grab a shotgun and start shooting people. There's a huge exploit within the system. Extra adrenaline points for you there. I don't know why this game rewards points to actions that would essentially get you in trouble. I mean, isn't that counterproductive to why games give you scores in the first place? They're supposed to reward good actions, not a sign of how much punishment you're gonna get. Or wait, maybe this isn't a scoring system. Maybe it's a karma system. Where did that chick go? No, seriously, is she there just to not fuck this guy and leave? What a pointless thing to do. You'd be spending much better time and more pleasurable time jerking off to yaois. Guy's a genuine douche. I don't get why you even bother coming to him. Oh, okay, what is that? Oh, we get the title just now? Really? That intro was freaking confusing. It, it doesn't explain much other than this guy play video games and this guy's a delusional asshole who thinks that the world around him is a video game combination of Galgun and Nani Pop. What the hell did I just watch? Oh, finally, some double standards are addressed. Dress less ethnically, what the hell are you even- How racist do you have to be, MTV? Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's- this is actually good advice, but this girl has the mental stability of a shrinking violet. In just a couple of moments, there might be a time in which she'll turn into a yandere. First world problems. Is that Dr. Watson? <laughs> yeah, if your laugh is torturous as mine, I think I can understand that. What? 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 What is this even? What? What is even? What? I, 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 I really don't get it.
This film is the winner of MTV's Look Different Creator Competition, which invited emerging filmmakers to create groundbreaking videos on the topic of privilege. To learn more about privilege and MTV Looks Different campaign, visit blah 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 blah. Okay, this film is some form of an advertisement for privilege, as in race privilege, gender privilege, implying that this entire thing happens because one is one race and one is one gender. First of all, that last few lines, just an absolute highlight of bad, bad filmmaking. It's a highlight of telling. The film that you showed previously did nothing to highlight that privilege. Those check marks are actually even more cases of telling. The only thing that you showed here is this guy is a gamer, therefore he can get away doing bad things. Not this guy is white, therefore he can get away doing bad things. So as a film, you have failed to deliver your message. I mean, in Straight Outta Compton, for example, if you want to show that there are police officers who are actual racist, you need to show police officers being racist. Speaking of Straight Outta Compton, this is really my favorite scene in the movie. That question right there proves to me what kind of an unprepared sandbag reporter you are. You're talking to me like I'm some elected official, like I'm running for office. But I get it. That's your job. The bigger the story, the bigger the check in your field of work. It's not your fault. I shouldn't blame you. What's your name, man? Brian. Eat a dick, Brian. Get the fuck out of my house. Y'all done here. And now let's talk about the message that this film tries to say. To be honest, I have a lot more issue with the presentation on the message because it's a lot more telling and less showing, but the actual message that MTV tries to tell is straight white men are more privileged because they play video games and they get to imitate Gal Gadot in real life and gets away with it, but women and people of color are less privileged because they have insecurities. <sighs> okay, is there a tiny possibility that there are Indian girls who are absolute perverts? Is there a tiny possibility that there are guys who are insecure? Nah, insecure straight white men, they don't exist. All of them are aggressive. And it's thanks to the evil monstrous power that is video games. People of color, however, they're all nice people, all of them. There's no possibility that they can be absolute assholes too. How bullies like Bruce Harrell who speak you know, I'm gonna find your, uh, and interrupt women when they speak, and just I'm as you interrupt you me now, we saw how those crimes went up. Stop. We I'm saw have you how the disgust have this and contempt removed, that you have, this and don't touch me. Personal attacks. Have her removed, please. Turn off the microphone, will you? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I find her behavior disruptive, ma'am. Disruptive to the agenda. This entire MTV short film is a straight white man boogeyman alert. Watch out! Those straight white men are gonna literally gal gun up your ass. Yeah. If you're white. And a man. And straight. And... Okay, okay, I get the point. Like I said previously, do you know why people are being fed on with this narrative by MTV? Because people like MTV wanted to make morons. Morons that hate white people, morons that defend the actions of people of color no matter how despicable they are, morons who attack or defend people based on their race and not based on their actions. This film is a fuel to the fire of racism. It adds nothing more than making the racism feel even bigger. This film oversimplifies the issues that we have in the entire world to, oh, the system just privileges straight white men. It encourages people of color to stop actually working to be better people that contribute to society themselves and instead just blame it on the straight white man because they're terrible, terrible, terrible people. This film creates morons. You want to create morons, MTV? Well, there's a reason why people are staying away from you now because they know your audiences are morons and you're populated with morons. However, I'm here to make sure that we have less morons in the society. Not just me though, actual sensible people who argues with rationality, logic, and reason. You, MTV, adding fuel into the fire, congratulations. You're just two steps away from burning the entire world. That's all for the video today. If you like this, you can go ahead and click like button and subscribe for more if you wish. You can support me on Patreon. And thanks for watching.